I'm 22 years old, but my height is 3 feet 10 inches and my weight is around 50 pounds. I live life trapped in the body of an eight-year-old. When I was six months old, my mom noticed a bump in the back of my head. So she took me to the doctor and the doctor said it was a tumor, a very aggressive, cancerous tumor. I went into immediate surgery and after the surgery, I went through chemo for two to three years and I was deemed cancer free. I was around five and it was kindergarten. They noticed that every kid was significantly taller than me. There was at least a foot difference between me and these other kids. That's when they took me back to Children's Hospital and learned that my um, pituitary gland was very close to dormant. So all of my hormones, my growth hormone, my sweat glands, all of that produces much slower. I got on growth hormones, but unfortunately, the doctor told me I was done growing. My bones refused at 16. So I didn't have this realization that I wasn't gonna be normal until I was 16. That moment was almost like the world shattered. Come on. I want to live my life like my friends and my sisters do, but I need my mother, my father, and the rest of the world to realize that I'm an adult. My life is complex. In a way, the advantages to my situation are you get lollipops at hair salons, you don't get stopped by people on the street asking you for stuff, um, you can play dumb when you need to, so that always works, and then when you talk really smart, people are really surprised and think you're a baby genius until they realize that you're 22, or they just don't believe you, but that's besides the point. Physically is where all the bad parts are, though. I can't drive, I can't sit down on a seat with my feet touching the ground. Um, I can't reach counters, I have to use stools. Um, I have to hop on couches and beds and stuff. Shut up! I have to put my heels on! I think that medically my situation is rare. I know that my dwarfism is rare because it's medically caused, um, I know that my personality is rare. <laughs> Good job, Tank. Thank you. I live on Long Island with my mother, Patty, my stepfather, Mark, my younger sister, Riley. My older sister, Tara, lives in Florida with her fiance, Jesse. But she visits as much as she can. I know that walking in anywhere, I will get stares, but walking into an adult environment is a little concerning because people stare, they're gonna comment, and then it's just gonna make me uncomfortable. <laughs> we can't have children at the bar. Well, obviously I saw her. When she came into the bar, the first thing I thought was, it's illegal for children to sit at the bar. Can I get some ID? Can I get some ID? She does look young, so that's the reason why I did ask for her ID. <laughs> Thank you. Me. Thank you. Ready, Riley, you're last. Yep. Thank you. So, you get married. <laughs> so which one of us is going to be your bridesmaid? <laughs> I am 24 years old and I'm engaged and Shauna's 22, so I'm only two years older than her. It seems like we have a greater age difference than the two years, mentally, physically, emotionally, all the things. I definitely believe that there is a little bit of resentment um, I think from more Shauna, than a little bit. Yeah, yeah, from Shauna towards Tara. I think Shauna almost looks at it as like, Tara's leading the life that she could have led had she been just a little bit taller. Yeah. It is difficult seeing that my other friends and my family are being more independent, but I don't envy or have any jealousy towards Tara and what her choices for her life have been, whether that's college and moving out. But I think it's entirely unfair on my parents and that they treat Tara and I a little differently, even though we're two years apart. 
Um, they always say that they want me to start my independence on my own with my own actions, but I can't do that if I have a leash on me. Where are I you going? I guess you're not ready. She's gonna put on her makeup or something. I'm getting all dressed up because we're going out to dinner. I usually don't do full face makeup. Um, if I do do makeup, it's usually just eyeshadow and mascara. Um, I don't like wearing a lot of makeup anymore. I think whether I'm dressed up or not, I get attention. I think when I'm dressed up and I have makeup on, my mom gets negative attention. I don't think it's any different for me. I think it's different for my family. Shauna likes to dress up like any other 22 year old, but we go out together and she gets looks like, oh wow, what is she doing? What is that kid doing? And then I get the looks of, how could you? How could you let your child dress like this? And then my mom has to explain that I'm old enough to make my own decisions and they don't believe her and they call her a liar. So that's not fun. I feel horrible for my mom because I don't deal with all the backlash because they don't think it's appropriate to come up to a child and say these things. They think it's appropriate for them to come up to the mother, which isn't appropriate at all in my opinion. And I know it affects her. I think she covers it up very well. But I think like it's one of those thoughts in the back, like at the late of the night that comes into her head. If someone had commented on me that day, she would overthink it to the day, like till she fell asleep. I think about him all the time. Um, I don't know why I'm getting upset. I know why. You know why. It's just, um, I feel so, I guess almost guilty that she has to, she will have to go through this for the rest of her life. It doesn't seem like there's going to be a time that it's just going to be okay or it's going to be normal for her. All right, can we go? We ready? All right, let's go. All right. We're out of here. <laughs> You're pretty tall there, Shauna. I'm probably like 4'2". You're going to be able to walk across these pebbles? Where are you going? I'm going to the brewery. Go to a brewery? Yeah. My friends and I are going to a local brewery, and we're going to go try, I don't know, beer, cider. We're just going to go have fun. Who are you going to a brewery with? Nye and Edric. And who are they? You know Nye. I do? Yeah, Nye used to work for mom. And Edric is her boyfriend. All right. Nobody else is going to be there? No. And when are you going to be back? Not, like, by, I'm thinking latest. By tomorrow? No, I'm thinking latest, like three. OK. Who's driving? Probably Edric, because. Does he not drink? One of them usually doesn't drink, because, like, they'll switch. Edric won't drink, and I won't drink. Text me the name of the brewery. OK. Can so I, I know where it is. But can I go now, because she's here now? Be so, careful. Thank you. Every time I leave the house, my parents do ask me questions. I'm used to it, but I wish it would stop. My mom is probably the worst with the questions, and I, I tell her to let me do what I want and that I'm an adult, and she understands. But my mom, I'm like the child that never grew up in her eyes. Can you unlock it? No. <laughs> just kidding, come in. <laughs> you just go to the brewery without me. Let's roll. So how are y'all? We're good, how are you? I'm okay, I'm tired, but I'm okay. When it comes to Sean and her independence, I know with everything in me that I should give a little more. And I really try and tell myself on a daily basis to do that. Uh, I just can't. Realistically, you have to adjust to the fact that I'm going to do what I want and that you can't always get your way. So do y'all have any advice for me, knowing my family, knowing what needs to get done in my life? I mean, you don't live at home because of college right now. Edric, do you live at home? No, I moved out recently, actually. Oh, wow. So what was that like? Amazing. <laughs> I don't know how to deal with my, my mom nagging at me now and then. When it comes to me moving out, it depends on my mom. 
mean, you know my mom. And yeah. she's very, very protective of me. So this is their goal. They're gonna buy a house, and then they're gonna be like an addition on the house or next to the house, and that's where I'm gonna live. No, I think it's time for you to spread your wings. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I think Nye's reaction, she understands that I need that independence. She knows my mom personally, and she sees how much my mom has tightened the reins on me versus my other sisters. It's a very tricky situation because I want to be fully independent at one point in my life, and I don't think I ever will be with my mother and my stepfather, so. When I tell my parents that I'm moving out, I don't think it'll go over well. Wow, look at this entrance, Shauna. I know. Wow. We just arrived at Jamesport, New York, and my good friends Nye, Edric, and I are heading to an outdoor brewery. So now it's time to drink. How are you guys? Good. Hey, how are you? Good. Have you guys been here before? No. no. Awesome. So we brew all of our beers here. On the back, we have some local wines and brunch cocktails, if you're not beer drinkers. They have cider, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, and ciders. When I drink alcohol, I'm not a big wine or beer person. I'm more of a hard liquor person, but like hard liquor with something else in it most of the time. Unless it's just shots, then it's shots. Can I get a cider? Yeah, of course. I'll try a cider as well. Okay. Um, yeah. I'll do a cider too. Just give me a cider. I'll go pick up the Three food. ciders? Yeah, yeah, three ciders, please. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just Make it back easy. At the table. So I was surprised by the group that came in just because one of the women looked pretty young, super tiny. I thought she was eight years old. And what would you say if I told you she's 22? That's insane to me because, um, I mean, how tall is she? Like two feet? Here, give me two. Here, you want it? As I spilled it. Come, come get it. Come get it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come, come get it. Come, come. <laughs> I got it. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Okay. Okay. Thank I'm you. gonna walk. Nai definitely was trying to play with me when it came to the drinks. I feel like she wants to joke more sometimes, but then she starts to feel bad. But I don't care if my friends give me a hard time. And I am grateful that my family joked off my disability because it made me have a tougher skin when it came to just normal people, let alone my friends. Put that there for him. Yep. When I first met Shauna, she had a little bit, you know, some attitude, some sass to her. But I didn't want to, like, ask her, you know, because of her height, she looked like a kid. And it was, like, kind of awkward in the beginning to ask her, like, how old are you? Yeah, now every time I see Shauna, I don't really see her for, like, you know, her height and everything. I just see her as, as, as who she is, so. Wow, that's good. That's dangerous. <laughs> right? It's like sangria. Yeah. How many drinks does it take for Shauna? Uh, to what? Honestly, I honestly think Shauna has has a lot of has a very high tolerance. I think my tolerance level depends on who you ask. I think people will think that it takes her like a whiff of alcohol, like just smelling it to but, get her drunk. Yeah. But she can take a lot. Like she's come home tanked off of what five shots, three mimosas or I something. I don't even know. And I thought it would kill her. She was just tipsy. How's school? So stressful. I changed my major like four times. You major in business, right? No, I major in linguistics and communications. I was previously yeah, a business Yeah, I thought you major. were in business. Maybe in the beginning, I started vaping to look older. I don't know, I've always been attracted to that edgy kind of lifestyle with the tattoos, the piercing, but getting tattoos, vaping, doing anything adult-esque wasn't to show anyone else that I'm an adult. It was to prove to myself that I'm an adult. It makes me feel like I am who I want to be. <laughs> so future, I mean, I know you were chatting me in the group about that, but I don't think you're ready for that. About what, Sharma? <laughs> Marriage. Marriage. I mean, is that the goal? Yeah, definitely. Do you both want to get married or? We were thinking about it. Oh God. Yeah. With my sister getting married and my friends talking about their relationship, I'm starting to think about my own dating life. I mean, my, my sister was done online dating for me and stuff, but like, it's different when you're in my situation. Mm. So, it's a more, I have to see them in person. This kind of stuff, like the, the looks that y'all get when you walk with me, that's the stuff that they have to be analyzed on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Recently, Riley and Tara set up an online dating profile for me, but I realized online dating's just not for me. 
but I'm still looking for new ways to meet new people. Yeah, so no success. <laughs> Find someone. Yeah. It takes time. My friends could be concerned about my happiness because a lot of people do relate it to relationships. I also think that they kind of want me to have a relationship because they view it as a form of independence. They know that if the guy drives, I'll be out of the house more. Like that guy could provide so many other opportunities for me and that that's, could be what they're thinking. At the same time, do I want a relationship because of that independence or do I need it? No, I, I can do the independence thing on my own. We can't have children at the bar. Well, obviously I saw her. When she came into the bar, the first thing I thought was, it's illegal for children to sit at the bar. Can I get some ID? Can I get some ID? She does look young, so that's the reason why I did ask for her ID. What's going on in your life with your wedding? Yeah! I have any kind of relationship, right? My romantic life kind of sucks. I think I've dated like seven people. I attract creeps, um, a you know, like the typical like quote unquote bad boy picture kind of situation and idiots. My last relationship had ended specifically because he didn't want to go out like to a restaurant with me or just go out and take a walk with me. And those are the kind of things that I look for as red flags. He said, I have a pretty face, but my body is I have a great personality, but I'm a He said, what a what a? We're not together anymore. It doesn't matter. You still talk to him. I only talked talk to him after that. No, don't talk to him. You know we're right. It's difficult to date when you look like an eight-year-old. A lot of guys have an issue with it at first. Um, they, they feel that like sense of staring and that's why a lot of my relationships just don't work is because they don't know how to deal with my height you gotta meet better guys that's just it you have to be make better really choices good. it's hard to meet new people because people don't understand that i'm an adult people don't think to come up to me or hit on me or anything it takes them a while to get to know me and understand okay that she actually is intelligent, she's an adult. This is why we're gonna make you a dating app. Ew. Yeah, then we can choose for you. Yeah. That's not asking out. That's swiping left or right. I don't understand that concept. Well, you'll figure well, it'll it out. teach you. I'm hesitant about trying online dating because it's not something that feels natural to me. It takes away that opportunity of people just meeting me and wanting to make a connection. Oh, we need photos. Okay. Well, you don't take photos, which means we have to take photos we need to for take you. Take photos for you. I have clothes. I've never really online dated before, but my sisters convinced me to create a dating profile because it's what people my age are doing. There's this romper. That's cute. It is cute. There's this dress, which is just a skirt. Where's the dress? It's not a dress. It's, it's a just piece. a skirt. Which means Where is it? And then this is the top. That might get some attention. The wrong kind of attention. It's so difficult just shopping when you're short, I guess. Finding clothes that fit perfectly is slim to none. Do you want a picture of that outfit? Do you? It's your profile. Do you want to look like a teacher? Most of the time I go to the kids section, but most of these clothes now have sparkles. They have unicorns. They have like cookies with eyeballs on it. If I look in the mirror, and I see something that reminds me of something I wore during childhood, or I see a child wore, I will not wear it. So well, Riley one... doesn't want to do this, but we're going to do this. At least yes. wear leggings instead of the skirt. Nope. Oh, God. Shauna also wants to um, overcompensate for her size by dressing a little more provocatively. All right, you ready? Really. Are you smiling? Like that? You don't want to look like a child. Bite the apple. Bite the apple. <laughs> <laughs> I hate y'all so much. Then you have to change now. Which one? This one. Get it over with. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I told you not the skirt. Oh my god. Isn't it great? Yeah, it's great. 
That's great. Smile, bite the apple. A little softer. Yeah, just a little Bite soft. a softer apple. Less intense. Maybe the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little less oh. skin. Yeah, more skin. <laughs> she thinks I dress like a Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> All of our styles are very different. I'm more dark, Shauna's more preppy, and Tara is school teacher now. Bow, no bow. That is much better. Oh, is it much better? That's so much better. I like the bow. You want to put me on cute. a dating app, but you don't want me to dress provocative. You want to dress provocative? I have the clothes. I don't know. There, there's plenty of bad situations that can happen when it comes to people that want to date me. Um, the attraction to younger um, people, children exactly, is an issue. And there have been times that I've attracted that. And they haven't been like super old creepy guys all the time. But sometimes they are. Sometimes they're younger and it's just creepy. What are we going to say in your bio? I'm short. Leave me alone. Oh, because that'll that get so many not going to get hits. Online dating for Sean, I think, it's a slippery slope. The problem with online is you don't know what their really intentions are. are. Yeah. I mean, are they allowed within 500 yards of an elementary school? I mean, those are... <laughs> <laughs> Just went there. <laughs> those are serious concerns of mine. Add your first profile prompt. Uh... A pro and con of dating me. <laughs> <laughs> I could think of a really dirty pro. <laughs> yeah, you gotta say it now. You're at the right height. Yeah, we know. <laughs> I know. You're for right that there. For sure. <laughs> uh, you want to put that on your profile? When it comes to physical intimacy, the boxes have all been checked. <laughs> Michael looks cute. He he looks like a boy. He's looking for a relationship. That's he a good guy. And he, he wants can't baby. spell Connecticut. He did put a Q in Connecticut, T. That's a little rough. Maybe that. No, there's no explaining that. That's bad. Pass. Ooh, Greg. Kind of a nerd. This is perfect. I have he a dog. A dog. Bunch of musical instruments. Cancer survivor. Yes. Hey, We're yes. We're playing. Yes, he's a cancer survivor, Shauna. I'm looking for someone who's nice, has integrity, maybe funny. Funny's good, too. Funny's really good. What were you guys doing upstairs? We're just hoping to spice up her life a little bit. What are you doing? We made Shauna a dating oh, profile. We like Greg. <laughs> what? Stop we saying like Greg. Greg. Who is Greg? He's a cancer survivor, college grad. Didn't spell Connecticut with a Q. Does he know how tall you are? I don't know. None of them do, probably. I mean, we put it on, it's on profile. your profile. My family's gotten way too involved in my dating life. They instantly want to know the person. They instantly want to know if he's going to stick around or not. And I, I just want to have fun with some people. Thank but you. we liked Greg. Greg has to like us. OK, Greg's not liking us. Greg's liking Shauna. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like Greg's dealing with three people. We like Greg. <laughs>so what are we here for today? Them. Them. <laughs> Them. My bridesmaid. All right. Okay. Very good. Very, very good. good. Tara is making a quick trip to Long Island so we can go bridesmaid dress shopping. Given the fact that I can't do online shopping really because of my size, we're actually going to go to a bridesmaid shop to see what the dresses look like on me and to see if they can be altered. Do you have a color that you're interested in? So my plan for them is to have blue dresses. OK. But I want them to have a degradation, a, a different color. So All of them, she it wants fades it into fade. white. OK. This is Jesse, and he is my fiance. Jesse and I met while working at a restaurant together. I proposed to Tara. We went to a park. We had a nice little trip back home to Pittsburgh um, around the 4th of July, which is one of our favorite holidays. And I got down on one knee. <laughs> and just as awkward her the as ring. you're saying it. Just as awkward as I'm saying it right now. And she said yes. She didn't even have to think about it. Do we have ideas of what you guys are looking for? And that's all you. <laughs> no, I don't have anything. I just had the colors in mind. <laughs> OK. And do you Everything's want, free for all. Do you want all of them in the same dress? Uh, or do you prefer different dresses? That's a good question. It is a very about. good question. Uh, <laughs> As long as they're happy with the dress that they're in, I okay. don't care, honestly. Okay. I don't okay. have a preference. Um, it's super hard 
to find something that all of these girls like and are able to agree upon. All of them are going in um, with no opinions, but they all have opinions and they're gonna show up really quick. I would pick a few things and just, you know, try some stuff on and let's see how it goes. First, we're gonna enjoy some refreshments. What do you think about that? Yeah. <laughs> and Shauna's dress. Yes. Come on. My impression of Shauna was that I didn't think she was a child. Looking at her, yes, she's little, um, but I did not think she was a child. I thought she was an adult, just smaller than us. She had a tattoo on her back. You know, so when her nails were done all, all up, so I, I thought that she was older. That's Look perfect, that. Riley. <laughs> you get grape juice. That's her favorite. <laughs> when it comes to like wine and beer and like mixed drinks, I think I've built my tolerance up to two. I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> I would like to see ID, ma'am. She gets mean. <laughs> no, she people, gets bubbly. People tell me I'm a fun drunk. That's the people you're not dissing. Are you excited? <laughs> no. Rude. No offense. <laughs> I'm not exactly excited to go bridesmaid dress shopping with Tara. One, it might not be very successful with my height, but two, Tara and I fight a lot, so doing things with Tara makes me a little wishy-washy. You're not excited for her? Sure. Sure. <laughs> When I met Tara and Shauna, their relationship was much more amenable. They were very close, um, but as they got older, and especially after Tara left high school, it became very a lot more adversarial. And I think again, it's uh, you know Shauna being jealous that Tara's living the life that she should be living. Also, your height. We could go. I have another manufacturer that makes junior bridesmaids that we could possibly pick from there. So we'll definitely find you something to cool. try on. Oh, it's extremely intimidating shopping in an area that you know nothing's gonna fit one, but two, just shopping in general because it's it's a mess. Nothing fits me in general. Okay, this one fits not at all. <laughs> <laughs> so this is definitely gonna be very, very big. <laughs> the boobs are too big. Shana, everything is too big. <laughs> it's not just the boobs. The boobs feel like a breastplate. <laughs> All right, let it go for one second. Some armor. I like dresses. I think, like, adult-style dresses, you just, you don't ever see them in children's sizes, one, but two, I've never actually seen them on my body. So it's just, it's an uncomfortable feeling. You good? <laughs> All right, step up on the arm. <laughs> hold on, honey, let's fix it. Okay, hold on, take your arm out of here, there we go. That actually does not look as so bad as I thought it was going to. This is one of the juniors. I feel the like this is slipping underneath now. Shauna was using the hanger straps. As well, because <laughs> it keeps the other part up. The junior size dress at the bridesmaid shop was supposed to kind of fit my body. It still didn't, I still didn't have the boob area for it. You can see all of this. <laughs> I'll fix that for yeah. you. <laughs> You're short, that's all your boobs. <laughs> all right, let's see. I started sewing my own stuff, I think when I was 16, because I wanted to actually have clothes of my own. But finding clothing in the adult section and actually making it work to my size, when it's already made, taking it apart ruins the fabric and you should have just started from scratch. I think it depends on what's in the store, and then I decide by looking at it, if I like it, whether I can alter it or not. And if I can't, I leave it. I like that style dress. This looks pretty. Yeah, it's yeah. very pretty. What do you think? Yeah, is it comfortable? I, I really don't care what I look like. You don't care what you look like? No, not really. <laughs> I need some kind of feedback. feedback. I think That's that would, here for. I think that would look good on Riley. Uh, hi. <laughs> I don't like that style dress. <laughs> I don't care if you like it or not. Thanks. What do we think of the opinions. color? The color is good. Okay. okay. She's a tomboy. She will not wear a dress if she does not have to. Who would? Me. I look pretty. Okay. <laughs> they will not be in the wedding. So I was like, do I have a step? That will not happen. <laughs> Hey, I can't wear my combat boots? There will be no combat boots. It will be on the invitations. Will you even see them? Yes. Her dress is long. She has a slit. <laughs> <laughs> there will be no combat boots allowed at this wedding. 
Bye bye. That dress is a winner. Do you honestly? It's fine. It's long, but it's fine. Well, I know, but is it comfortable? Oh, this, one, this is the same one. The same one. Yeah. Just okay. In a bigger size. Yeah. I'd like to see Riley in that. Riley, yeah. can you actually try this one on, honey? All right, honey. There Thank you go. You. You're welcome. Yell if you need help, okay? Okay. <laughs> they unzipped her. I don't know if that would have been necessary. Want more champagne? So I, I had some champagne. <laughs> A little bit. Champagne. No, you think you had a little bit because you were taking everybody else's before yours, and then they were just refilling it. Well, when somebody's refilling, you just don't know how much you've actually had. And, you know, it was there. It was there. So and you I, were drinking. I drank it. <laughs> like, Daddy, you're getting lucky tonight. <laughs> no. <laughs> TMI. I am your daughter still. Oh, Holy cow. I forgot who I was talking to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm not a friend. <laughs> but I'm a friend. That's very funny. I think you've had at least five now. I don't know so, about that. So I think two. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, how can we help you? It's hard being trapped in an eight-year-old's body when you want to be treated like an adult. Having tattoos shows people that I'm not a child. So today I'm going to a tattoo shop to consult with um, a tattooer about an idea I have. I want to get a tattoo. You want to get a tattoo? What do you have in mind? I want it right here. I want a chocolate covered cherry, not completely covered, like half covered with the stem. And then I want February 14th, 2021 with Pap Pap. All right, cool. Um, what's it for, if you don't mind my asking? My grandfather passed away on oh, Valentine's Day. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. No, it's OK. So the tattoo I want to get is for my grandfather, who passed away recently. He was my mom's father, and Pap Pap is what we called him. His favorite candy was chocolate-covered cherries, and that will be a great representation of him. Um, do you, if you don't mind my asking, how, how old are you? I'm 22. OK. Um, and you have existing tattoos? Yeah, I have this one right here. Okay. I have this one right here that right. goes across Beautiful. my whole back, and then I have one on my ribs. All right, cool. Do you want to come around back, and maybe we could sit at the computer, maybe draw a little, design it together a little bit? I'm okay with whatever you want to do. See so if we can figure it out. Come on back. Thank you. So walking into a tattoo shop, it's a strange feeling. It's almost like walking into a bar. You're either going to get carded or not. And either they have respect for you or they don't. And even though it's a different circumstance, it's a very similar feeling. All right. So I guess the, one of the challenges is going to be my proportions, size and proportions. Let's just draw just a little one. Do you want a chair to sit in the shop? I know. I'm OK. You OK? Yeah. I look taller standing. You're like total opposite. <laughs> I'm like really big. I've never been the big person in my life. Sometimes being big has nothing to do with how big you really are. Yeah, I have the personality to make up for it. So. Something tells me. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. I mean, obviously, when you first meet somebody like that, you're a little bit taken back. But once you open up her mouth and verbalize herself, she's a firecracker. She's a lot of fun. I'd like to hang out with her. We can only deal with the, uh, the gifts we've been given, right? Yeah. Even if it's not a lot. Yeah. Or too much. Yeah. You know? Either way, either end of the spectrum sucks. Yeah. I can relate to Joel because he has gone through the same kind of prejudgmental experiences that I have gone through, but on the opposite spectrum. He's taller, he's a wider person, he's covered in tattoos, and those are all stereotypes for someone who could hurt you. I mean, him being told, oh, I don't want your help because of the way he looks, or me being told, oh, no, honey, you can't pour my coffee, is kind of the same feeling. It's like, well, why am I not good enough? How do you feel about something like this? Where you could see the molten, or do you want it just kind of like dunked in chocolate? Um, the dunked in chocolate might be better because I've looked it up, and when people do this, it kind of comes out looking like um, semen. So. Okay, I could see that. The only reason I was kind of lending myself to that is because I could turn that almost into a little bit of a heart. If you want to do that without making it look inappropriate, I'm all for it because huh? he actually did prefer these kind, which are the self kind. Oh, those are the best. Yeah. All right. So I specifically wanted a certain kind of cherry because cherries can be sexualized. And the bitten in one, you get it tattooed, it's going to look like semen. 
and I don't want that on my arm. <laughs> so I just wanna stick to one cherry, one whole cherry covered in chocolate. <laughs> if you don't want my asking, how old was your grandfather when he passed? Um, I think he was around 76. He had um, stage four lung cancer for about nine years. So the reason I'm getting the tattoo is because he did pass away and he was very... It's a big part of your life? I wouldn't say big, like, involvement-wise, but, like, he always made sure that no one was gotcha. to me because of my height. Gotcha. When it came to my grandfather, there was a connection there. When we went there, he always wanted to talk to me, and he went out of his way to do things for, for me. And he was the only one, really, that on my mom's extended family side that didn't look at my height and make me feel different because I was his granddaughter. And that, it was the, he just made me feel amazing. So, I mean, this would be like the first general mock-up. How do you feel about making one of the A's the actual cherry? Oh, that would work better. How's yeah. that? That's cool. So we'll Plus scrap. it'll take up less space. Yeah, we'll scrap this guy, and we'll do another one real quick. Each of my tattoos have a meaning. I never want to get a tattoo without a meaning. The first one is for my cancer. It's two elephants making the cancer symbol. And this one on my forearm is two doves facing each other. It's based off um, a jewelry box I have for my grandmother who passed away when I was 10. The one on my ribs is just a stencil of a polar bear. It's my favorite animal and I think I'm like a polar bear because they look so cute and cuddly, but they actually are so like introverted because they don't see other polar bears um, that they will attack any other polar bear they see. <laughs> so I think I'm the same way with humans. Shana's like a polar bear because you know she's cute and she she seems very sweet, but she can just devastate you. She's ferocious. With one swipe. <laughs> How many tattoos do you have? One big one. Just one massive. <laughs> At it, this point, I it never. Did it start out that way? Um, no, I got my first tattoo on my 18th birthday. My mom wasn't very happy about it, but it's a lot more acceptable now than it used to be yeah. back then. So. That's how my mom is. My mom's like, well, you're you're tiny, and you already curse, and you already drag attention to you, and now you're gonna get a tattoo, and people are gonna stare at you and point at it, and I'm like, but I want it. I think my first tattoo was a connection to independence in a way, setting my personality almost with my mom because I had to convince her that it was going to be okay even though it's on a childlike body that I understand I might get judgment, but I've gotten judgment my entire life, so why can't I do what I want to do? Um, how do you like the idea of something like that? I do like that sketch. Um, where's... You want to see the first one? Yeah. Right, Honestly, right if I could just take this home and show it to my parents, because it is for my mother at the end of the day, because it is her dad. Gotcha. Take this, show it to your family, and if you have any questions or anything that you want me to do or change, whatever, just let me know. I'm open to changing it, and it's all about you, you know? Mm -hmm. I'll walk you out. You want a T-shirt? Sure. I'll take free stuff. <laughs> Every person presents themselves with a different set of complexities, but her willingness to verbalize what she does and doesn't want allows me to really get a good handle of what's actually possible with her anatomy. She's not asking for anything that's hard to do or would complicate anything at all, so she, she's good. I can't wait to do it. When you figure out what you want to do, let me know. Yep, I'm sure we will see you in the future. Well, I'll walk you out, I'll give you a card, and you can give us a call. Thank you. The tattoo consultation with Big Joel went very well. I do plan on coming back soon for my tattoo. I also plan on taking my mother to get this tattoo. She's not the biggest fan of my tattoos, but it's for her, so I hope she'll change her mind.